Good day everyone, this is group 2 and I am Shaina May Plaza and my group mates are Dean Alea Pitarge, Trisha Prescaña, Erjan Pailado, Erika May Castellone, Gila Marie de Castro, Nancel Ocampo, Sunshine Ocampo, and Joan Talibo. Before we start, we're sorry for any background noises you may hear in the videos as well as any differences in video quality you may notice. We show a video of SPSS software and show how we use it to analyze data for our research. We begin to introduce you to the SPSS software by answering the 5W and the answer to our 5W is will be tackled by Miss Prescania. Hi, my name is Trisha and I'm here to answer our 5W questions. So first, what is SPSS? SPSS is short for Statistical Package for the Social Sciences. The importance and benefits of SPSS in a research. SPSS can take data from almost any types of files and use them to generate tabulated reports charts and plots of distribution and trends, descriptive statistics, and conduct complex statistical analysis. So, who is the creator? Norman H. Neal, Hadley Tex Hall, and Dale H. Ben, three young men from different professional backgrounds developed a software system in 1968 based on the idea of utilizing statistics to turn raw data into information that could be used to make decisions. These three pioneers were visionary who saw early on that data and how you interpret it is the driving force behind the smart decision making, the DNA of intelligence. Where it is used to get a reasonable findings in our research, we must display data in a comprehensible way. Small amounts of data can be handled manually or with the aid of pocket calculators. If you have a huge amount of data, you will need a statistical package. One of these programs is SPSS. It can be helpful database if the data is correctly loaded into SPSS. Data inspection, simple tabular presentation, and advanced statistical analysis are all made easier with SPSS. And SPSS can handle and analyze survey data obtained through an online survey platform. When did IBM acquire SPSS? Even though the software was created in 1960, IBM acquired it in 2009. SPSS programming has been greatly improved and it can be now handled a wide range of research jobs in variety fields. Why it is important? The significance of SPSS in research and the advantage of it are can handle data from practically any forms of files to generate tabular reports, distribution and trend charts, plots, descriptive in statistics, and advanced statistical analysis. Once again, this is Trisha Pascania and I will be showing you the basic variable data in our presentation. However, we must First, open the SPSS application, which is installed on your devices. As you can see, we use IBM SPSS statistics, which is free to download from the Google. Let's open a new dataset for beginners. Click the Open button, select Variable View, and begin with number 1. We are here in Variable View. As you can see on the screen, all of the questions in our survey, such as any option, will be encoded in variable view. So, there must be no spaces or symbols in the variable view name. We may also use keywords or terms that are unique within the data collection or set. Because names are made up of text, the variable types for the first questions in our questionnaires will be strings. The width is the maximum number of characters that will be accepted for each response in our questionnaires. We set the maximum number of 20 since some respondents include their surnames in their response 
and we set the decimal to zero because the name is not a number, so there are no decimals in there. In contrast to variable name, variable label can contain spaces. We will also type name with the value of none, missing is none, columns is eight, a line is right, measures is nominal, and rows input because questions on our questionnaires are indicated in this field. Call name will be age and the type will be numeric because it is a number so we will put two decimals in there. But we will change it later because it looks like a price or amount in the data. And we will label this as age values are none, missing is none, columns is eight, measure is right, the gender will be indicated by the next question and the type will be numeric. It might also be a string but we will find it easier if we utilize numeric or values to determine whether it is female or male. So the decimal will be zero and the, no the label will be gender. The values have no meaning. However, because we are using numeric, we recognize that we need to mention the numbers as well, for example, if the values is zero and the label is male, then one is for the label and in label will be female. We need to talk about the name, types, widths, decimals, and labels. But now, I will talk about the remaining items. Missing, columns, align, measures, and rule. A responding answered, an inapplicable, the values missing is used, and the columns represent the width of the data columns for this variable in number of characters, which are, has no effect on the data, and the alignment refers to whether the data is shown to the left, right, or center. On, on the other hand, we have here a tree classification in these measures. To make it simple to understand, scale variables are numeric variables that measure quantity such as person or things, age, distance, weight, area, or monetary amount. Ordinal variables are, are those who categorize represent a specific level of variable being assessed, such as education, satisfaction, scales, inquiries, race, tribes, country, and districts are examples of nominal variables that do not represent any ranking. And for the continuation, here is Miss Sunshine. Hi, I'm Sunshine Ocampo. Miss Tricia, the first reporter, already discusses the basic variable view as shown on the screen. So now, I'm here for the continuation of our questioners which is the part of screening. First, we need to insert or put manufacturing company in the name. Since the first reporter mentioned earlier that it is necessary to have a special word of term, therefore, we decided to use underscore as a space. And for the first question, name will be like this. Type is numeric, bin zero, and the label will be the question in our questionnaires. The values like what Trisha mentioned earlier, it will change in zero value. And the label is no and one is value while the label is yes. Missing none, columns eight, align right, measures nominal, role input. Next is advertising agency. Type is numeric, wind eight and decimals will be zero. And for the label, we just copy it then, change the question in advertising agency. Like what we put earlier, it was the same values is zero and one. Missing none, columns eight, align right, measures nominal, role input. The last two question in number one, we just add the name with keyword or term and for the label. We just copy and change. Next, we proceed to number two question in screening. Name will be laptop, time is numeric, wind is eight, and the label was from our questionnaires. The values is zero, 
stands for no and one for yes. Missing is none, columns eight, align left, measure is nominal, and roll is input. For the third question in screening, the keyword will be reason. Type string, wind is eight, decimals is zero, label will be the question number three in questionnaires. The values is NA are not applicable, columns eight, align center, measure is nominal, and role is input. I already finished with my topic now, so here's Miss Prenzel for the next part of questionnaires. Hi, good day everyone. Miss Sunshine has finished her presentation, but before I start, let me introduce myself. My name is Renzel and I'm here to talk about the core brand awareness and core trial usage segment. Name is going to be top of mind. Type will be string, width is 8, decimal is 0, and our survey question was titled label, which the question is when you think laptops. What brand first come into your mind? The values are 1 for Lenovo. 2 for HP and 3 for Acer. Missing none, columns 8. Align left, measure is nominal and roll input. Next is apart from the brand you know. Type is numeric with 8, decimal 2. Label was from the question in our survey. The values are 1 for Lenovo, 2 for HP, 3 for Acer, 4 for Asus. Missing none, column 8, align left. Measure nominal and rolls is input. Next is past laptop. Type is string, width is 8, decimal is 0, label is from the question in our survey. Values are none, missing none, columns 8, align left, measure nominal and the roll is input. Current using, the type is string, with 8, decimal 0, label was from the question in our survey. Values none, missing none, columns 8, align left, measure a nominal and roll is input. Well, the time frame type is numeric, width is 8, decimal 0, the label is from the question in our survey. The values are 0 for less than 6 months, 1 for 6 months to 1 year, 2, to one, 2 for 1 to 2 years, 3 for 2 to 3 years. 4 for 4 to 5 years and 5 more than 5 years. Missing none, columns 8, align left, measure nominal and rows is input. I am done to my part and now here is Ms. Castellone for the next part of our question. Thank you Ms. Renzo. Hello, my name is Erika May Castellone. And today we'll be discussing question 8 through 10 in, in the core usage segment. For question number 8, there are modifications in the name that will be put as an influence as well as the label which we put our questions in and the values which are 0 equals relatives, 1 equals friends, and 2 equals advertisement. All the remaining remain the same. For question number 9, there, uh, there's a chance in the name we put decision in name. And for the label, like we did earlier, we just put our questionnaires there. All the value will be corresponding in zero equals to the parents, uh, one equals to siblings, and two equals to myself. The rest are still the same. For number 10, we just change the name. Uh, level as well, the value, but the other does will be the same. Uh, for the continuation of core, Usage segment here is Miss Sheila. Miss Erika is done to her topic now, so I'm here to discuss the continuation. I am Sheila Marie de Castro. This is the continuation of encoding variables in question number 8 to 10 in core usage segment. So, for number 11 question, there are changes in name, which is duration label, is how long have you been using your current laptop? And the choices for the values are 0 is equivalent to 1 to 2 months, 1 is equivalent to 3 to 4 months, 2 is equivalent to 5 to 6 months, 
3 is equivalent to 1 year or more than a year. And the rest will remain the same. In question number 12, letter A. There are changes in name and that is purchase label. How often do you buy that? And also its values will be 0 for every 6 months. 1 for annually, 2 for sale, and 3 for when it is broken. Like in question number 11, there will be no changes to the other variables. Next is question 12, letter B. Name will be satisfaction. Its label is how do you feel when you, feel you, when you use laptop. The values are 0 for good, 1 for better, 2 for excellence, and 3 for others. And next question is number 13. Name will be person who buy its label is who usually buys laptop. The values are 0 for myself, 1 for my friends, 2 for, my, uh, two for family, and 3 for others. Last for for purchase segment. Name will be place of purchase. Label is where do you usually buy laptop? The values are 0 for online laptop, 1 for mall, 2 for second hand shop, 3 for the others, and for question number 12, there will be no changes in the in the type with decimal, missing column, align, measure, and input. And Miss Joanne will explain the core image segment in the next part of our questionnaires. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Joanne A. Talubo. So on, th on this next video, it will show you on how we apply Showcase Questionnaire on SPSS. Our group create only a short video about it. We choose our top 4 brands, Lenovo, Dell, Apple, and HP. Only few things are we change, especially in category name, as a mark we put the brand name in the front of the rest of the table are still the same. But before I go any further, I'd like to point out that this rating scale is highly significant in surveys since it is a variant of the popular multiple choice question, which is commonly used to collect information that provides relative information about a specific topic. This scale is commonly used to assess a product or service's performances, as well as a personal liability abilities, customer service performance, and the methods used to achieve a certain goal. A rating scale survey question is similar to a checkbox question, except it includes more information than a simple yes or no question. Answer. I'm done with my topic, so here's Miss Trisha for the remaining half of the questionnaires. Hello, this is Lynn Alea and this portion is last in our questionnaires. Like what the other presenter said, we just only changes the name, labels, and the values since it is the only things needed to be changed. In question number 16, we just put radio in name, the labels are questionnaires, while in the value, we just put like this, 0 is equal to 107.9, 1 is equal to 90.7 love radio, and lastly 101.7 yes FM. Only a few things have changed, most obviously in category name, where we have placed the brand name in the front as a mark, while the rest of the table remains unchanged. Now that I've done my topic, we will go on to the data view, and here's Mr. Air Urgent Pailado to discuss the data view. Hi, this is Urgent discussing about data view on SPSS. In this part, we apply the answer of our respondents, 100 respondents in total, we complete your SPSS tabulation. Make it sure you put the right answer of your respondents. If you think your respondent didn't answer a specific question, you can leave it a blank and proceed to the next question. By scrolling the data view left to right, you can see all the answers of your respondents. Just remember that data view is where we inspect our actual data. Also, it is the characteristics that is being measured. And that's all for the data view highlights. And here's Dean Pitarger for the next tutorial. 
I am Dina Leia and for the last part of IBM SPSS, as we can see these are the personal data of our respondents. Next we need to click analyze and then choose descriptive statistics, then click frequencies. We can see our variables and also the labels and now we are going to click charts and choose pie graphs and click percentages to show the results. As you can see these are the results and the pie charts. First, it shows that many of them answered no for the first question in screening. In second pie graph, it shows the different statement of respondents why they do not use laptop. In fourth pie graph, 25% of them answered television and 25% of them answered radio and the rest have the lowest answers. In fifth graph, one half of the pie answered, answered television. And for the last graph, it shows that one-fourth of the pie graph answered friends, relatives, and neighbors. In conclusion, SPSS software is a useful program because it can assist in the processing of critical data in simple steps. Working with data is a complex and time-consuming operation. But with the help of the specific techniques, this program can are used to analyze, transform, and create a great pattern between different data variables. Again, this is group 2 and this is the end of our video presentation about SPSS software.